Hi folks, this is Kathleen at Starry Eyed Farm. Um, this is my first time with turkeys. Hello, <laughs> someone's attacking me right now. Um, I have four turkeys that I got this year, white turkeys. Um, I had five in the beginning and it was my first time and they didn't eat very well. They weren't, they didn't seem to be drinking a lot. And of course I didn't really notice that right away. Am I pooped on? Um, yeah, they pooped on me. See, isn't that nice? So I just moved them from their brooder box out to this pen that I made. Got a little dog house that I'm going to put some, uh, bedding it. Stop stepping on her. Goodness. Sorry. Sorry. They keep stepping on this one. That's not doing so well. So I've got four right now. I had five. Um, and four of them, hi, and four of them did, um, di ended up dying. And the fourth, fifth one was looking pretty bad. And I, I kept calling the place I got my turkeys and they told me, um, uh, finally somebody got on the phone that seemed to know a lot and the first thing she said to me was that turkeys are stupid and you should really <clears throat> should really put something shiny in their water and in their food yay and in their food uh, there she goes again and in their food hi turkey so I did that the minute I did that the fourth the fifth one which I think is this one that's not doing so well um, perked up and started eating and drinking. I thought, oh my God, I wish someone had told me this sooner. Um, so here she is. Um, like I said, I just removed them from their brooder box. I had a really big like stair-like container that I was keeping them in and they had a heated, heated, um, you know, brooder thing. Um, I took that away about a week ago. Um, I was cleaning their box every day, taking out the bedding and replenishing it with new bedding. Um, but it was getting pretty tight, so I was like, oh, i got to finish this cage thing that I built. And I, we fi I finally finished it, and so I put them out here. This one got kind of dirty, like it was, I guess, the bottom of the totem pole, but these ones are a little bit dirty. But it's amazing, because I had them all, you know, I changed their bedding all the time. It's not like I was, yeah. So I'm hoping she'll perk up. I wish I could get a video of her doing the thing that she's been doing, which... She was kind of gasping with her mouth open. She doesn't seem to be interested in eating. Um, if anybody has any ideas of what might be wrong with her, I was going to take her in the house maybe, because I don't want these guys walking all over her. Um, maybe I'll wash her up a little too, because she looks dirtier than the other ones. Um, and for keeping themselves clean, um, they do the whole kind of sand bath thing like the chickens do. So maybe I'll put a little sandbox in here with them. Look at these guys, they're just so funny. So, yeah, so this, this video is for you guys to help me. She's got her eyes closed, she's kind of panting. Every so often she lies down. Um, a few minutes ago I actually thought she was dead and I was like, oh God, not again. But um, see how she's kind of opening her mouth and I don't know what's wrong. I, I looked at her nose, I looked at her feet, her arms, her legs. I can't figure out what's wrong. Um, so if anybody has any idea of what I should do besides cleaning her and then drying her off and keeping her maybe in the house in her own little pen for a while until she perks up, um, I don't know if there's anything else I can think of. I'll, I'll look on websites and stuff, but I'd like to help her if I can. I mean, I know they don't live that long because they're meat birds, but I don't want her to suffer. So if anybody could tell me, that would be great. Um, thanks. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.